magic comes from? Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Director's Choice. Encanto is Disney's latest release, and it's amassed a ton of love for its vibrant aesthetics, cultural representation, symbolic highlights of society, and of course, an amazing soundtrack. But one highlight from the animation is that the central character, Mirabel, and the fact that there was nothing seemingly special about her. Or at least, that's what the plot wanted us to believe. In this episode of Director's Choice, we're taking a closer look at Mirabel and the gift that we are 99% convinced she received. If you haven't seen the movie, consider this your spoiler alert and stop the video right here. You can come back when you've watched it. Or if you're a daredevil, feel free to continue. Everyone's looking for you. Back to the theory we have about the special Madrigal family and the very special Mirabel. Get ready to be blown away because we've got all the facts and pointers to prove that the casita did give Mirabel a gift. And it's perfect. Mirabel Madrigal is the last child of Julieta and Agustin and one of the grandchildren of Abuela Alma, the matriarch of the Madrigal family. As a family that lives in one house, Casa Madrigal, also known as the Casita, they are a united front and bound by more than just love and affection. The Madrigal family is blessed with magical powers that they get from a special candle. All the children and grandchildren of Abuela Alma have special gifts that they received at the age of five, all except Mirabel. It's a great night. It's a perfect night. When she was five years old and went through the coming-of-age door-opening custom that was supposed to reveal her gifts and new room, Mirabel got nothing. She had to remain in the nursery where all the Madrigal children stayed until they got their abilities and special room in the Madrigal house. As the only child who had no powers, Mirabel felt left out very early on. And it definitely didn't help that her family members were not encouraging. With the exception of her mother, Mirabel was often overlooked and underestimated by other members of the Madrigal family. As she got older, Mirabel stopped longing for abilities that she knew she was never going to have and instead highlighted her personality. Mirabel supported her family members, sang praises of their unique abilities, and she had a positive outlook on life. And that's probably the reason she had such a strong connection to the magical candle. Mirabel's mother, Julieta, and her siblings, Peppa and Bruno, are triplets born to Alma and Pedro Madrigal. When conflict arose while the triplets were infants, Alma, her husband, and other members of their community had to run for their lives, literally. In a brave and heroic act, Pedro sacrificed himself for his family, but it wrecked Alma. In heartbreak and anguish, she wailed and asked for a miracle. The candle she had been using to guide the path to their escape shone as it became the magical casita. And that's where our theory picks up. We believe that the connection between Pedro's hope and sacrifice, Alma's prayer for a miracle, and the love they had created the strong force of power that went into the candle, making hope, action, and love the essential elements for the magic that the Madrigal family had in their special abilities. But how does this connect to Mirabel? We'll get to that in a minute. What, what, what's happening? Where are we going? Home. Ah, ah! Symbolism is everything in a Disney story, and Encanto is no different. The candle was a guiding light that led the Madrigal family to safety and eventually led to the creation of the hidden village of Encanto. And as the family continued to stay together, the light never dimmed. But with Abuela Alma getting older and the bond between the family weakening due to individual differences, the candle began to lose its brightness and their home started showing signs of destruction. 
Mirabel was the first to spot the damages happening to her family home. But when she tried to bring it up, she was ignored. And that eventually created friction between her and her family members, especially Abuela Alma, who had always been highly critical of Mirabel due to her lack of powers. But Mirabel was undeterred, and she kept on looking for a solution to protect the magic of the casita. And that's where her gift was highlighted. I will save the miracle. Although most people and fan theories believe that Mirabel's power is empathy or being able to bring her family together, we think that it goes beyond just that. Mirabel and Abuela have one thing in common. They have no special magical powers. And that's because they're connected with the candle, which is the source of all the magic. Abuela Alma played a huge role in the creation of the candle, but she's not a mortal, and that role is passed down to Mirabel. Mirabel's gift is that she is the embodiment of the candle, the source of all the magic. When Abuela got the magic of the candle, she used it to save and protect her people. But in the 50 years that followed since the Madrigal family got the casita, Abuela Alma became more focused on making sure that her children and grandchildren lived up to her expectations. Isabella, Mirabel's sister who got the ability to make flowers bloom, was expected to look and act perfect. Luisa, Mirabel's other sister, who had super strength, was expected to shoulder a lot of responsibility. Reducing her family to what their abilities represented and not their personality, the matriarch had unknowingly shifted the foundation of what their magic was about, hope and positivity. Bruno, the third triplet, had the gift of premonition and had foretold negative events because he couldn't find a path to embrace the positive sides of life. And that had led him to be an outcast from the family. But Mirabel, who didn't have any visible powers, was the one who managed to bring everyone together. Because she's an embodiment of the candle, Mirabel could connect to the core of the magic it held. And that's what makes her gift of being an embodiment of Casita simply perfect. I broke into Bruno's tower. I found his last vision. The family's in trouble. The magic is dying. The house is breaking. Luis's gift is fading, and I think it's all because of me? Mirabel felt like an outsider from her siblings, cousins, aunts, and uncles because she didn't have any special gifts. But she didn't let that make her a negative person. Instead, she always sought ways to encourage and compliment her family. But being a genuinely good person, with love for her family coming first in her heart, she put in everything and actually sacrificed herself to help them. She was the one who encouraged them to rebuild their home, and she restored the family by bringing Bruno back into the fold. The new Casa Madrigal coming alive with powers when Mirabel opened it was a signifier that the power of Casita was always inside Mirabel. She was a vessel, an embodiment and a representation of what the Casita truly meant, hope, family, and love. Abuela. I can finally see everything. Being the odd one out is a feeling that a lot of us can relate to on a very personal level. But like Mirabel, it's important to recognize and appreciate our unique abilities, whether or not anyone else considers us special. All her life, Mirabel had felt like the non-special part of her family. But when it was time to save the Madrigal family and their casita, it was none other than Mirabel that rose to the occasion. Being hopeful and putting in the work is what Casita represents, and that's what Mirabel represented. She led the way to restore her family, and she did it with the most beautiful songs. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us on this breakdown of how Casita did give Mirabel a gift, and it's absolutely perfect. Please take a moment to look at this other recent clip by Director's Choice, and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bright notification bell to get alerts for our latest videos.